Hi, my name is Tracy Lampy, and today I'm going to show you some techniques on fused plastic. The supplies that we're going to need um, to make the fused plastic are an ironing board, some parchment paper, some bags, and an iron. And first we're going to prep our bags and get them ready to cut. We just want to flatten them out. And I like to do three at a time because that's what you're going to need, three bags to make a good fabric. And then we're just going to cut off the bottoms and cut off the tops. Now with your scraps, we can make a future project or you can recycle them, but don't throw them away. And then we're going to just layer the three bags on top of each other. You want to keep the ink, if they're on the bag, on the inside because they will transfer. And then we're going to sandwich them between parchment paper. I like to use parchment paper because it doesn't fuse to the bags. And then your iron setting, I like to start at wool and I use a vintage iron because there's no steam holes in it and it's just metal. And as you're ironing, make sure you get the edges and then flip it over and do the back side. And before you check to see if it's fused, you want it to let it cool down a little bit or else it'll pull apart and give you ripples. It's working fabulously. And there you have your fused plastic, ready for collaging. Now we're on to collaging onto the fused, pat, the fused plastic. Now we've already have that. Um, I like to use um, chip bags and candy wrappers. They tend to fuse well on uh, the fused plastic. So we're going to make a sun, a tree, and some flowers. And I'll start off with the sun. And you just cut out your shapes. They don't have to be perfect or, you know, whatever collage you would like to do. And we'll have some rays of sun. Then we'll make a tree trunk out of some brown packaging.
Okay, now we have all of our collage pieces um, cut out. We're going to go ahead and fuse them onto our plastic. And we have our parchment paper underneath. So we're going to randomly place our pieces on here. This will be the sun. And the tree trunk. And the tree. I like circles because I can cut them out easier. And then we're going to put some flowers. And if your plastic curls up, you can just kind of push it down before you iron it. Because some of these, or you can try to straighten it out, but they don't like to be straightened. Then place your parchment paper on top and iron down. You don't have to iron the back with this because you've already fused the main piece. Now we have our finished collage piece and you can use that to make other projects like a placemat or even a tote. And thank you for joining me today. My name is Tracy Lampy and look for my book that's due to come out in March of 2010.